cottage pie has got to be the ultimate comfort food and this recipe is fantastic because it can be made ahead. Now I'm using the Simply Better Irish Angus mince and also finishing with a lovely cheesy mash using the Drina cheddar cheese. So I'm just going to add some rapeseed oil into the pan and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add in our Simply Better Irish Angus mince. So if you look at the technique, what I'm doing is just with the back of my essential spoon, it's just literally breaking down the mince. So that makes it really lovely and tender. So what I'm trying to do is get as much color into this beautiful Irish Angus mince. And for me, this mince has so much flavor. So good hot pan, lovely Irish rapeseed oil, and just keep stirring it and breaking it down. And this will take about five to 10 minutes. So the mince is ready now. It's lovely and golden brown. So that's all my mince browned. I've just put it into a dish and now I'm going to start my vegetables in the same pan. Don't wash it, keep all the flavour there. So some more Irish rapeseed oil, one onion peeled and diced, and then we have our carrots. So just peel them, cut them nice and chunky, they don't have to be too small. And a couple of sticks of celery, which I love the flavour of this. So I'm going to add in my sliced mushrooms just into our vegetables. Then the mince, and that's beautiful and browned. This is my Simply Better beef gravy, and it's made in West Cork. I absolutely love this. So I'm just adding the full tub in there. Scrape it all down. Next, one can of the Simply Better tomatoes, and these are the San Marzano tomatoes. These are so sweet and full of flavor. Amazing smell coming through this. So we're going to use some of the Simply Better Chianti Classico wine good splash of that and then some Worcester sauce so roughly about a tablespoon of the Worcester sauce goes in there so I'm gonna add in this garlic and herb seasoning and this is so delicious look at all the lovely herbs in that and it's just gonna give another layer of flavor so I'm gonna let this just simmer away in a low heat for about 30 to 40 minutes until it's really tender I'm just gonna add in my peas so they're just added in at the very last minute so with this recipe, you're getting lots of beautiful vegetables into it. So now I'm going to add this into my oven-proof dish. So just scoop it all out. The smell is just unbelievable. Using the spoon, I'm just going to literally press that just right to the corners. And I'm going to let this cool now for 20 minutes. And while that's cooling, I'm going to make my cheesy mash. So for my cheesy mash, what I've done is peel some potatoes, even-sized steam them or boil them until they're just cooked. And I'm gonna put them through this. This is my potato ricer. And I'm gonna enrich it with some butter and some of the Simply Better Drina cheese. So just with the potatoes, we're gonna literally just push them through and just kind of squeeze this. And you see them coming out like spaghetti. Now what I've added into this is some butter to get it nice and soft. But to make it really indulgent and special is this Simply Better Drina cheddar cheese which is already grated. So two good generous handfuls of that. The heat of the potatoes to so just soften the cheese and melt it. So that's my mash ready. Now what I'm gonna do is place it on top of that cooled mince. So just using my spatula, just kind of scoop it off. And then with the back of the spatula, then I'm just going to literally spread that out there. So just keep going right to the edge and you can see how smooth and creamy that mash is. And that's down to the cheese and the butter and the potato ricer. So the final thing using a fork is just literally run it over the top. And look how smooth that is. So that needs to go into the oven, that's it ready, just to warm through for about 50 to 20 minutes at 180 and until it's golden brown and ready to eat. So after 20 minutes, this is what it looks like. The cheesy mash is beautiful and golden brown. You have that lovely tender mince packed with vegetables. And I just like to serve some seasonal greens with that. For me, that's the ultimate comfort food. That's my cottage pie.